Welcome to the shop. Hope you're having a great day. Decided to try my hand at a big old cleaver. Are you ready? Here we go. Welcome back. So I hope everyone's staying safe and doing well out there. Whew, man, these are tough times. And something we haven't faced before, but uh, we just got to keep busy and try to get through it and stick together and all that good stuff. All right, I just decided, man, I've never done a big old cleaver. I did a cleaver years and years ago, but yeah, I got a whole bunch of other stuff to heat treat and, and someone contacted me about making another Dexter knife, so I figured why well, I had to heat treat this. And these two chef knives, I'd go ahead and whip out this. <laughs> so let's just get to it. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, all that good stuff. I'll put my website link in the cards up here. It's the first in the description. All right, let's just get to it. So I had someone contact me about making the Dexter Kill Knife again, which I'm going to do on Instagram and, and do updates, but I'm not going to record it. But I figure while I'm... Doing that build, I need something else. I mean, I got the kitchen knives, but I'm going to do them off camera too and, and update. <laughs> I'm going to be doing a lot of updates, but I want to do something new. And someone asked me if I can make a cleaver. And, uh, man, I haven't made a cleaver in years, probably since when I first started making knives. So, here we go. We're going to design one out. <laughs> we just had to figure out what we want to make. Oh man, and I found some uh, low percentage alcohol, like a six pack of like 60 or 70% alcohol. So I'm stocked up. <laughs> I was worried, I don't want to use the 90%. So yeah, I found some 60%. We're nice and full. <laughs> you know how I love my rubbing alcohol to mark up and stuff like that. See, I already need it. I think that's it. <laughs> So I had to flip it over to cut it. I was pretty good here. As you can see, I was pretty good. 
<laughs> I went a little deeper here. <laughs> but that's alright. You can grab back here, grab up here. Alright, to the grinder. Let's get this bad boy shaved out. <laughs> I guess I should put it on the horizontal, but I'm just gonna clean it up. You know, this is an old, I don't even know, I guess old 36, but it's got grit left on it, so I'm just gonna mainly hit it on the edges here and just get it all taken care of. See here. Alright. I don't know why I'm doing it with the thing turned off. I guess so I can talk. All right, let's get it done. Horizontal. <laughs> Here we go. Looks like I'll have to put a smaller wheel. Uh, yeah, looks like we'll have to actually put a different wheel on for here. It'll be like the small wheel attachment but with a bigger wheel. <laughs> but we can get everything else. It's nice to let the wheel kind of figure out how it's going to look because I changed this a whole bunch with the wheel. But it looks a lot better like that. Alright. Yeah, that's one thing. When you draw something out, it doesn't mean that's how it's always going to end up looking. It's just a guide. Well, at least for me. Unless it's a, it's, you know, if it's something on paper or something that's supposed to be exactly like it's drawn or whatever, then uh, yeah, that's a different story. I mean, that's the biggest, oh, well, that's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fun times, fun times. I guess bevels are next, but it's late. Off camera, I just went ahead quarter inch holes here, and I did a quarter inch, and then uh, 
I don't even know what size that is. It just looked right. <laughs> All right, I broke the 90s for uh, Instagram, so let's do this side. Let's do this side for YouTube. Worn belt, and then we'll get a new 50. Let's get a brand new 50 and go to town. Let's get to it. I got my lines here. I might not even go up that high. It's preheat treat, so we'll see. I had to take the table off my other grinder, man, because I kept bumping my elbow into it. This is a hard one to figure out. <laughs> but that's all right. We got plenty of time to do it. <laughs> I <laughs> busted over the line right there, but that's all right. It's still thick. I didn't do it too much, so I just got to be careful. Says, man, this thing's a beast to hold. And the whole, you know, finger pressure thing, it's like I'm trying just to hold the weight. <laughs> Especially getting over here, because it wants to fall, and I can't, you know, this is pretty good, but when I get here, ah, <laughs> All right, I had to fix that spot. <laughs> I'll be back. Let me go remark it. That's better. Back to the fight. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with this, but we gotta figure that one out. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. We're only over the line a little bit.
I'm gonna take a break. This side's gonna be a lot easier because I can hold the whole weight of it. This side, you know, I'm trying to wrench it up and then I'm trying to hold it here and put pressure here to bring it down. <laughs> uh, that's not too bad, only one little slip. <laughs> All right, I'll be back. It's the next day. Actually, it's two days later. I took Sunday off. Anyway, let's get back on this, see if we can clear this up, make it all look good. Then I'm going to wrap the two kitchen knives, the Dexter knife, and this, and get ready for heat treat tomorrow. But we'll get to that. Let's see where we get on this. I seem to see a pattern here. <laughs> I guess it's because I can't put pressure. Well, now I can put pressure here. It's, man, it takes a lot to hold this thing up. <laughs> oh, I know what it is. <laughs> My brain is trying to swoop something that can't be swooped. <laughs> oh, man. Tell you what, those edges, they're hard to get. <laughs> Especially this one trying to hold it. Man. But uh, all right, let's put a 120 on there and refine that bad boy. <laughs> 120, I actually got a Cubitron here. I wanted to see if they're different than the VSM. See if they last longer, bite better. So let's give it a shot. Now remember, when I do that, or this, or whatever, I'm not laying into it. I'm just letting the magnet hold it, and I might hold it up here, but I'm not pushing. Because if you push it, all of a sudden it's going to be warped and wobbly. You just want to let the belt do its job. Let's get these wrapped. I think we're ready. My last piece of my old roll. It's a, it's a little too big, but that's all right. We'll cut it. I mean, we, we don't have to cut it. I'll just fold it over and throw it in the oven. I'm not really worried about it at this point. See, here's the Dexter knife I'm making for the guy. The two kitchen knives that need the kneel. <laughs> and then the cleaver. All going in one. If it, was a, if it was on another roll or something, I would cut it, but since this is the last piece of an old roll, let's go ahead and seal it all up and get it all tight. Oh, 
There we go. That threw me off, but that's just the fold over. <laughs> All right, let's tape it up. <laughs> I tape with Mount in a second. All right, we're good to go. So I'm gonna throw it in the oven and that's probably about it. Woo, and there she is. It's been normalized. Now I gotta go ahead and put the clay on it, which that'll be in the next video and all that stuff. So put the clay on it, let it sit overnight. And then, uh, yeah, get the heat treated and see where we go from there. Hope you all are doing well. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, all that good stuff. I put my website link in the cards. It's the first down in the description with my email and Amazon links. All right. Hope you all are doing well. Stay safe and make sure to do what it takes to keep your family healthy and you healthy and all that good stuff. And as always, take it easy.